I am so excited to be working with this company to shine a light on them and their female CEO. Because at the age of 27, a family tragedy thrust her into the spotlight when she became the youngest female CEO of a publicly traded company firm at the time. Take a look. LifeWay stands for something. It stands for survival, resilience, and taking care of yourself, your family, and your community. Well, LifeWay Kefir is like a um, probiotic cultured yogurt. Like It's like a smoothie maybe would be the best way to describe it. It's got like a tangy, um, effervescent uh, texture and, and flavor to it. Kefir originated in the Caucasus Mountains where the people who lived there lived past 100 years of age. And they attributed their longevity to their consumption of kefir. My ancestors basically passed it on generation to generation. When my parents started Lifeway over 30 years ago, there was no kefir in the United States. And they really launched an entire new category here that's with a 2000 year old product. We were one of 40, uh, 42 families that were allowed to settle in Chicago in 1976. We did, we defected in the middle of the night from the Soviet Union. You, you can only take one suitcase with you. We, we came with $116 in our pocket. You know, my parents didn't speak a word of English and started this business. My dad really wanted me to come work in the family business. I spent five years working with him side by side. He really empowered me. And unfortunately, when I was 27 and he was 55, he had a sudden heart attack and passed away. And it was devastating. It was absolutely one of the most challenging things that I had had to go through. Ultimately, I became the youngest female CEO of a publicly traded company. We grew from 12 million to over 100 million today. Um, we went from 70 employees to over 300 today. And I hope that there's, uh, you know, kids watching me, young people, people who have a, a dream for an idea, a business plan, whatever, whatever your dream is to go forward, just go do it and don't stop. Fantastic words of wisdom. Please welcome the CEO of Lifeway Foods, Julie Smolensky. <laughs> Thank you. I have to just have a sip right now. So my mom raised me in California in the 70s um, and 80s, and she was a kefir fanatic. I marveled at the chance of talking to you, and then I just felt like, wow, we have a lot in common with two daughters and going to work so young. When I was reading about your life, like you really had to hit the ground running at a very young age. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, nobody believed in me. My father's friend said to me, you know, five feet away from me on the day that my dad died, there's no way a 27 year old girl can run a company. That's it, it's over, sell your stock. And you know, truly nobody believed in me. They said it to my face. And you learn how to stick up for yourself. You learn how to advocate for yourself. But more importantly, I learned how to trust my gut and have confidence in my gut in that intuition that we all have, that I think women especially have this untapped intuition that you know, we know how to lead in crisis and we know what to do. And that, you know, following and taking care of your gut to me has become, you know, my purpose and helping people make those healthy choices. I mean, this is what my ancestors have done for 2000 years. And now science is catching up to, to that intuitive knowledge that we have. You were so ahead of the game, you and your family with gut health. Mm -hmm. By the way, I'm sorry. Try to find something that's good for you that tastes as good as kefir. P.S. <laughs> I literally, it's I, since childhood, been my absolute favorite thing. Um, I really love the way that you speak to your daughters. I was fortunate enough to write a book, and the reason I wrote that book was a love letter to my daughter so that they could understand who I was and how I grew up. And really, the two things that were most important that I wrote in the book were my little letters to them, Dear Olive mm -hmm. and Dear Frankie. And when I read your Instagram to your daughters, I was bowled over. What compelled you to write those captions to your daughters? 
well, I recognize that one day I'm not going to be here and all they'll have are those words, my words, that are, you know, a piece of my soul um, that will give them glimmers of who their mom was and what she overcame. But I think that's the really incredible thing about women and girls is we have these untold stories that are just burning inside of us to get out, to share with the world. And, you know, little kids are watching, boys and girls need to hear these stories, stories like yours, stories like mine, that can inspire them to recognize that no matter what challenge is in front of them, no matter what card they are dealt with, they can thrive. They can not just survive, but thrive. So. I think as a daughter, your father must be so proud. I thank you, Julie. Likewise, thank you. So much. I'm just gonna give a quick shout out to the seventh graders at Near North Montessori. My daughter's friends all helped me get my outfit together. Everyone oh. voted. So oh, I love good it. job, Near North Montessori kids. And yeah, my daughters, Leah and Misha, we did a whole fashion show. So we, we got the whole, uh, whole crew involved in the fashion. <laughs> well, Julie Smolanski, thank you so much. And Lifeway and Kiefer. Do yourself a favor and take good care of yourself by drinking this. Thank you, Julie. Thank you so much.